In this character design series, I am going to be showing you how to draw this monster character that I designed. If you want to use your own design, you totally can. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to first draw your character. Um, this isn't going to be all of the lectures. This is from a paid course that I created. So if you'd like to support me uh, in what I do and helping you bring more videos and be able to help you out in the communities and things like that, um, just go down in the description and purchase the course for the full course. However, this is a pretty big portion of the course that I'm going to be releasing on YouTube to be able to help more people out there who have the questions about character design and how, you're how to set up your character. So first off, I show you how to draw out your character and then we basically take and import it into Anime Studio that I was using at the time. If you're using Moho, that works perfectly as well. And basically just show you how to trace out the character once you've already drawn it. Um, and then I also show you how to set up your layers so that when you get into rigging and then into animating, you have your layers set up nicely as well. One thing that I want you to keep in mind is when I created this course and when these videos were recorded originally uh, was about two years ago. So it's 2017 now and this was probably about 2015. Um, so I was definitely at a different skill level, I will say. Um, I was learning, but in that learning process, I really wanted to teach others and help make the process simple because courses like these and tutorials like these uh, weren't available at the time. So I really hope that this helps you and enjoy the series. Hello and welcome to the lecture. Okay, so before we begin, I just want to let you know that you don't have to be drawing this monster character. If you're doing character design and you can draw up your own characters, do it by all means. I'm just showing you just kind of what you need to do just to get started so that you can really make your character come alive um, and do different angles on your character. Uh, these are just some quick tips to be able to get you started. Um, looking at this character, it's most important when you're thinking in Anime Studio, everything like we've shown before is broken down into shapes. So if I'm looking at this character here, I have just the uh, transparency turned down a little bit. If I look at his head, he's kind of got like a marshmallow head. Okay. If I look at his body, it's the same type of thing. He's kind of got this round body. If I look at the arms, I could kind of just imagine these as... I don't know, like swimming pool noodles? I don't know. Or macaroni. So he's got macaroni for arms. Uh, same thing. I guess macaroni for his legs. It was a terrible way to say it. But just think of what your character looks like when it's broken down into shapes. So into shapes, that's what he looks like. Kind of got it like a, a teddy bear type uh, shape there. Okay. And the next thing that you're going to do... Just turn down the, uh, oops, the opacity down in this. So in, in some of these parts, I will speed through it once I just show you the basics. But right now, I'm just going to kind of just break it down with you. So if we go to the mouth, it kind of has its own shape, obviously. And the mouth, you don't have to draw it in this fashion. Um, you can draw, you can use the same character of the monster and do a completely different mouth. It's it's totally up to you. And I want you to have the complete freedom to be able to draw however you want to draw. Kind of, there's nothing kind of more frustrating than someone saying that you have to draw a specific way. It doesn't really let you use your uh, creativity. It's kind of just forced. So yes, do whatever. That's basically what I'm saying. Okay, so looking into that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, it's kind of hard with paper, obviously. You don't have the convenience with, like I have here. But what I basically did is I just merged those two shapes together. So he still got that squarish uh, head, but basically I would just go through and I would just, I would shrink down my eraser just a little bit and just go through and just erase those points. 
and his head shape is basically going to stay the same. So just following those outlines of that head shape without leaving those other lines in there. So that's really just to show, I don't know, I guess like the middle of his face. And just going back to the drawing. So he's got his eyeballs. He's got an eyeball right here. And he's got his other eyeball. Ooh, let's see if I can make a circle. Like I said, can't really hand draw anymore. My hand has lost its steadiness for sure. Um, done way too much in Anime Studio. Okay, and just going into his body, just real quick, just bringing out his little stomach there, going to his macaroni noodle arms. Um, I'll just kind of make my own hands. But that's basically it. You're just first creating shapes and then you're going through and you're just defining them. Okay. And this doesn't look great. And to be honest, it doesn't have to, at least for me, it doesn't have to, because I know I lack the drawing skills that I used to have. I just don't have a steady hand anymore. That's just the truth of it. I'm a terrible sketcher. I, I can draw good, actually. I just can't sketch. And that's what I'm basically doing right now is sketching. Um, but okay, so that is going to be, this is gonna be the three quarter turn, okay? And that's all we're gonna do for this lecture. So with your character, if you're doing this monster character, however, just think how, your character you want to look if you if you need to when you're first going out and you're just trying to design a character just draw shapes okay what does that look like that looks like a guy that's kind of putting his head down i mean this is a simple like circle and a triangle almost looks like he's kind of putting his head down and he has a gut or if i do this and i kind of do i don't know some weird parallelogram thing he could be some uh guard dude i don't know there's a ton of bunch of things that you can do when it comes to character design um this isn't a course about drawing this is about doing your character design in animate studio so all of this is really not important but when you're doing your character design uh, in Anime Studio, I'll show you how that's important. Right now, all we're doing is just sketching out our character. So stay tuned for the next lecture. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this tutorial series, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'll have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, if you want to help support the channel, I have the link to all the full paid courses down in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.